What's up guys, the Geek World Tech here, and today I'm just bringing you an update for all of you Gigabyte users. So, how many times have you guys wondered why Asus, MSI, ASRock, all those other brands have moved on to the UEFI BIOS for the first gen Sandy Bridge boards, while Gigabyte stuck to the old hybrid EFI? Well, you won't be disappointed because Gigabyte is now working on a new EFI BIOS for the Z68 boards and P67 boards and possibly even the H67 as well. So as you can see right here, this is a translated page from German. It's from the Gigabyte, the German Gigabyte forum. And moving down, you can see it's UEFI BIOS for the Z68. It's, right now it's in pre-beta, so there are some glitches like VTT adjustment and Intel Rapid Start, you know, touch BIOS, all that stuff that's expected because, well, it's a pre BIOS and they're gonna obviously gonna fix that. So, going down, you can check their flashing. You have to use the special utility to flash it because this is like a major flash and it's very different. So, use the included utility if you're ever gonna try it. And uh, some of the boards that are, that have a um, beta already are Z68X UD3HB3, Z68A D3HB3, Z68AP D3, Z68P DS3, and Z68M D2H. These are the ones that are, well, they have the beta BIOS so far. So, anyways, moving back, you can see they're flashing the new splash screen, and it's pretty cool, actually. It looks pretty good. And um, UEFI is all about fast booting and just moving on and recognizing all your drives and all that stuff like really quick. So this screen is only going to show up for two seconds or so. So that's a big advantage if you like fast booting and you don't really go to the BIOS a lot. But it'll be a bit harder for the other guys because they need to constantly press Dell for like two seconds and react to that. So. Anyways, moving down, as you can see, Z68 XP UD4, and it is a beta, U, U standing for UEFI 1, the first version, and of course B for beta, so any letter after the 1 makes it beta, so the official version is going to be U1. Anyways, you have the usual gigabyte layout, the MIT system BIOS functions, you know, as you can see, this is in German. So moving down, you do have all the... Um, stuff that you see for like your current status and stuff disabling SATA ports you know all that good stuff and one important thing to note is that if you flash the UEFI you can't do a normal flashback to the award BIOS and you have to use a special way to flashback using the um, back to award utility and the watching this video they'll show you again link in the description all these will be in the description and yeah, this proves that Gigabyte has not left us in the dust, and they do have great support, so that's all. That's about all I wanted to bring to you guys today. So, yeah, this is looking pretty promising. So don't forget to subscribe for more reviews, unboxings, tutorials, all that good stuff. See you guys next time.